The fire has burnt houses and vehicles in the motion part of Lagos. Residents of the area say it was set by a cult group which came to settle scores with another group. Today morning, that was on Monday. We heard that these cult boys, they were fighting themselves again. Two factions anyway. They came all the way from Shillong Street, they crossed the railway line down to Tinola, down to Akibode, down to Ola Teju. And it happened around after 11 yesterday. Fortunately, my own car is across the street, which is, I mean, across the railway line, which is Tinola here. My own car too, everything, the glasses there, everything broken. And if we look at the number of vehicles that were, I mean, vandalized there, it is more than 20. Up to the extent that there is a woman selling frozen chicken and whatsoever, whatsoever, and a deep freezer. They throw light, I mean, fire there, they burn down the whole <clears throat> place, leaving everybody in real pandemonium. You're welcome back. Concerning the fire in motion, we are now being joined on the phone by the spokesman of the Lagos State Fire and Rescue Service, Amodu Shakiru. Amodu Shakiru, um, you're welcome to the news. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. So what can you tell us about the, the situation right now in Mushin? Well, um, yeah, reportedly, the situation is uh, calm now. It's calm now, and then the, the fire is out. Uh, but we were not able to assess it last night as we reported to the public. So... Uh, what happened was that we got the call at about uh, 10 p.m. last night that there is a uh, uh, fire within the uh, allotted area of Mushu. And uh, when we turned out on approaching the scene, we could see that uh, it, it involved some rescue views. So we need to withdraw and then uh, inform the police who later took charge of the situation. So um, at the end of the night, we were not able to assess the situation because of the infighting going on there. So, but uh, unarguably, the police took charge and then the fire later burned a house. Uh, so we, up to now, we are not able to assess the, that the situation is calm. Okay, uh, so you didn't know not. what caused the fire? And it was reported that the youth, the rescue youth, were the one taking uh, up the fire. So has the police so, been able to make some um, some arrest of some sort so that this um, kind of menace will not continue again? Uh, it's not continuing as we speak because the police has already taken charge since last night. And in terms of arrest and what the, the police have been able to do. Uh, we need the police to come out. I, I believe they are going to come out and uh, make public the details of the incident. Okay, uh, Mr. Madu, thank you for this um, brief information about the fire in Mushin. We will still come back to you if we find out that we still need to ask you more questions on this issue. Thank you very much and have a good day. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.